Chapter 362-364 It's futile, they are not going to be restored by, King of Hell, if you want them back, then you will have to use other corpses to recreate them. Hearing Yama's words, coupled with the fact that King of Hell gradually disappeared, Nagato's frown tightened, he did not expect that the damage would be so serious. Nagato again controlled Jigakudo to summon King of Hell to see what the hell is happening, only to see that King of Hell is working perfectly based on the chakra reaction he perceived, but the corpses of the Four Pain were not being resurrected, something was hindering them from being repaired. His jutsu is interfering in the recovery. But why? Nagato thought. At this time Jiraiya and the others also rushed to where Yama and Nagato were. They noticed two people, two puppets, and two beasts standing on the field. On one side were, a red hair person with many black rods embedded all over his body, two pain puppets with Rinnegan, and finally two beasts, one being the giant wooden one, while the other is a two-tailed blue cat. On the other side stood one lone person, wearing a cloak with several prints on it and a mask. His body was again covered in some sort of cyan chakra cloak. This cyan chakra cloak although had gentle chakra, the pressure it was emitting in the surroundings was nothing to scoff at. Then there were nine black orbs circling at his back. Jiraiya boy, who is that person? Fukasaku wondered in amazement. Jiraiya also frowned, he was not so sure. This is the first time he has seen this individual. He is not part of the Tri-Alliance, he is. Achiha Shursui said with a thoughtful expression, if I am not wrong, his description matches the leader of Amitsukami. Yama, yes, he is definitely Yama. Everyone heard Shursui's words and can't help but nod. Although the cloak and mask are covered in the cyan chakra cloak, making it difficult to give a clear analysis, however, the design on the cloak, and the pattern on the mask clearly match that of Yama's. And that red hair boy. He also has the same Rinnegan. Shima questioned. Jiraiya turned to look at the red hair boy. This time he was undeniably sure that it was, Nagato. Nagato? The one who is controlling all the puppets? Are you sure that this time he is the right one? Fukasaku questioned. Jiraiya nodded with a solemn expression, he is indeed the child whom I believe to be the child of prophecy, Nagato. The child with the Rinnegan from the legends of Rikudo Sennin. Kakashi wondered, there are only two of those puppets present here, what happened to the rest? Were they sent somewhere else or are they killed by him? Kuroto answered, most likely to have been killed. I can see some corpses inside the mouth of that thing, and they are most likely those same puppets. Jiraiya couldn't have been more shocked. But when he thought about it, and considering just how vast the damage around this area is, did it seem reasonable? But even if that is the case, he is surprised, those six puppets were able to single-handedly everyone on his side, but was single-handedly killed by the leader of Amitsukami. On the other hand, Kumo Shinobi were somewhat cheerful upon noticing the Nibi, it meant that Ni Yujito was still alive and fighting. Thank goodness Yujito-sama is safe. We have to help her in the battle. Confronting both the leader of Akatsuki and Amitsukami at the same time couldn't have been that easy. It's a blessing that Yujito-sama managed somehow. Hearing the cheerful words of Kyumo Jonans, Kakashi frowned, was she really fighting against those two? Why do I feel that's not the case here? While all this was going on, Nagato and Yama both were staring at each other, they did not pay much attention to the arrival of the Tri-Alliance or Akatsuki members. Ka, ka, ka. Paper fluttering. Paper fluttering. Paper fluttering. At the same time, the calling of crows and fluttering of papers can be seen and heard in the sky above them. This was none other than Homosubi and Conan, who were also fighting against each other. Guy rubbed his eyes when he saw paper and crows fighting each other, am I the only one seeing this? Kakashi, Kuroto, and Shursui shook their heads and said, no you are not. There sure are some weird people with strange jutsu here. Guy said, but all that aside. I did not expect Amitsukami to suddenly attack the Akatsuki organization. Kakashi nodded, fortunately, these two organizations are not collaborating, else, Kakashi did not finish his words, but everyone here was able to understand the implication of that, if. Shinichi who stood on the other side whispered to Juzo, what do you think we should do? Juzo sighed, I am not sure if we can participate in the battle of this level. It would be best to stay on the sidelines and let Pain or whoever he truly is deal with the leader of Amitsukami. Shinichi's eyes flickered at Juzo's words. He was wondering if he should help Yama, Kuroto, to completely eliminate True Pain, Nagato, but when he looked at Geto Mazo, he felt somewhat unsure. He wasn't sure why, but his instincts were telling him that Geto Mazo is not something he can deal with so easily. 
Perhaps I can help him to keep the Jinchuriki of Nibi in check, at least with one less enemy to deal with he may be able to kill pain. But should I? It doesn't seem that he requires any assistance. So, should I? After a while of observation, Jiraiya felt that both Yama and Nagato seemed to be at a stalemate. And they seemed to be waiting for the other party's first move. Moreover, they aren't paying much attention to the others in the surroundings. This is the best opportunity to deal with both of them, if this opportunity is missed then who knows if it will be possible to deal with such powerful individuals, Jiraiya thought then whispered to Kuroto and Gai, Hyuga Kuroto and Might Gai, at my signal, rush towards Nagato, and kill him. Kuroto and Gai couldn't understand what exactly Jiraiya intended, but they nodded. If anything can kill the leader of the Akatsuki organization, then they are on board with it, whatever it might be. Then Jiraiya turned to whisper to Kakashi and Shursue, Hataki Kakashi and Uchiha Shursue, at my signal, rush towards Yama, and kill him immediately. Kakashi and Shursue also saw the seriousness of Jiraiya's expression, and nodded, understood, Jiraiya-sama. This short conversation between Jirai and the four members of the team, Eleven was not heard by anyone other than the five of them and the two toads. As per Jiraiya's instructions, both Shursue and Kakashi got ready. Next, Jiraiya leaped high and shouted, Boss, ma'am, let's start. Fukasaku and Shima nodded. Fukasaku and Shima immediately nodded, their throat immediately swelled and loud croaking sounds were heard, croak, 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 the target of the croaking was Nagato and Yama. Croak, 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 croak. 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 Ugh. Why did he have to go and use this? One Nagato is already a problem, and now this. Yama sighed. Megan, Gama Rinsho. Demonic illusion, toad confrontation chant. Is a Senjutsu enhanced Genjutsu. Where the Genjutsu is cast using sound as a medium, which means that the visual prowess of both Rinnegan and Tensigen are useless against this Genjutsu. As the croaking of toads intensified, Yama found himself inside a Genjutsu space that looked similar to the stomach of a toad. At this time, he was surrounded by four samurai toads who pushed their one hand each and sealed him inside a barrier. Of course, Yama was not the only one who was trapped. Nagato was also in the same situation as him, as he was also affected by this Genjutsu. Trapped inside the small Genjutsu world, Yama and Nagato faced each other with a bit of awkwardness. Nagato said to Jiraiya, Jiraiya-sensei. I did not expect that you can still use such a Genjutsu. At this time, Jiraiya appeared on top of the head of one of the samurai toads and spoke, Nagato, this is the end, there is no escape from here. However, I still believe that you are the child of prophecy. If you are willing to turn over a new leaf, willing to correct your erred ways and atone for all you have done. I am willing to give you one chance. Jiraiya still does not want to give up on Nagato. However, contrary to what Jiraiya has hoped, Nagato was not panicked in the slightest, and said indifferently, Jiraiya-sensei, my conviction for the kind of world peace I desire is unbreakable, there is no going back from the path that I have taken. Jiraiya sighed. Killing his own disciple is very painful for him, but if Jiraiya has to make a choice between Nagato and Kanoha, then it can only be Kanoha. Disappointed, Jiraiya looked in the direction of Yama and said, Yama, the mysterious leader of Amatsukami, for trying to disrupt the peace between Kanoha and Kumo, as well as kidnapping and killing of Jonin Watanabe of Kumo, and Jonin Uchiha Hideki and Uchiha Ryota of Kanoha, as well as, several other crimes, you will be executed here. Yama chuckled, if you think you can do it, then why don't you try? Outside Genjutsu plane equals in the real world. The moment both Nagato and Yama had fallen in the Genjutsu several changes occurred. Because Yama had fallen in Genjutsu his Tensigen Chakra mode was deactivated, his body no longer stayed afloat in the air and fell on the ground, however, the shape shifting on the Kazakage puppet was still there as the chakra has already been sealed inside the puppet. Similarly, because Nagato had also fallen into a Genjutsu so Geto Mazo and Nibi that were summoned by Nagato disappeared into poofs of white smoke but Tendo Pain and Jigakudo Pain were still there. The reason why Tendo and Jigakudo did not lose consciousness is that Nagato can share the vision with the other pain through his Rinnegan, as such he was still able to see what exactly was going on at the battlefield and could act accordingly. Seeing the changes that suddenly happened on the battlefield, Conan and Homosubi reacted immediately and stopped their battle midway, then they both rushed towards the battlefield to protect the leaders of their respective organizations. 
At the same time, not wasting even a single second, Hitaki Kakashi and Uchiha Shirsue rushed towards Yama, while Hyuga Kuroto and Might Guy rushed towards Nagato. Tendo, Jigakudo, Uchiha Shinichi, and Juzo Biwa were not far behind. Tendo, Jigakudo, and Juzo Biwa rushed towards Nagato to protect him, meanwhile, Uchiha Shinichi rushed towards Yama. In the eyes of Akatsuki as well as the other people present here, Uchiha Shinichi and Uchiha Shirsue rushed towards Yama to kill him, while that was obviously not the case. Both intended to stop the other party to kill Yama but both of them were not aware of each other's intentions. Jiraiya himself had taken out stone swords of Mount Mayaboku to kill Nagato but he was shocked to see the two pains still moving, how can these two puppets still move? Nagato is subjected to the Genjutsu, the puppets should have already lost consciousness as what happened earlier. Meanwhile, Kyumo Shinobi were panicked and confused as to why Ni Yujito suddenly disappeared. What happened to Yujito-sama? Did she retreat? But if so, then why? Unfortunately, the question went unanswered. If it is said that both Yama and Nagato themselves are in their most defenseless state currently, it wouldn't be wrong. Even ordinary genin can kill them if they manage to get closer to their bodies. Thus, all hell broke out to kill the two of them and to protect the two of them. Conan and Homosubi were the fastest. Conan descended from the sky and wrapped Nagato with her papers, lifted him up high into the sky, and flooded the entire area with her papers to resist the approach of Hyuga Kuroto and Might Guy with her papers. With herself and Nagato floating high in the sky, Nagato was most likely safe. Meanwhile, Tendo and Jigakudo resisted the incoming Jiraiya. While Biwa Juzo confronted two Kyumo Jonans at the same time and did not allow them to get closer to Conan and Nagato. On the other side, hundreds of crows flocked around Yama, and completely covered him, not showing even a single trace of his being. Uchiha Shinichi and Uchiha Shirsue who had both rushed towards Yama were fighting each other, they were not aware of each other's intentions, thus their battle too was extremely serious. With Shuriken Jutsu, Kenjutsu, Katan Ninjutsu as well as Genjutsu in the play. While Uchiha Shirsue and Uchiha Shinichi were fighting, Hitaki Kakashi who had rushed towards Yama suddenly saw the flock of crows surrounding Yama, while he was calculating how to get past hundreds of crows, he saw unique red eye with a black pattern on all of the crows then suddenly a single term resounded in his ears, Tsukuyumi. And the next thing he found was himself tied on a crucifixion cross and the world has changed to red and black. HM, what just happened, and where am I? I. It's a genjutsu. Were Kakashi's last words he could remember before the next 24 hours of hell started, he had to spend the time getting stabbed all over his body, nothing worked, even if he knew it was a genjutsu, it still didn't help. The reason why Homosubi used Tsukuyumi on Kakashi is that it is the best way to defeat Kakashi while not killing him, Homosubi is perfectly aware of Kakashi's Manjikyu Sharingan, so Homosubi did not want to risk having to confront Kakashi's Manjikyu Sharingan as that can really risk Yama's life here. While Kakashi spent 24 hours in Genjutsu, only an instant passed in the reality, everyone only saw that Hitaki Kakashi was rushing towards Yama who was surrounded by hundreds of crows, and suddenly puked out blood and fainted. At this time, all the other Kyumo Jonin also acted, some rushed towards Yama while the others towards Biwa Juzo and Konan. Both Shirsue and Shinichi were worried about Yama, as Yama has yet to awake but at this point, they can only have faith in him and Homosubi and stop the Uchiha Shinobi in front of them from killing Yama. Meanwhile, Homosubi also tried to release the genjutsu on Yama. There are many ways to dispel a genjutsu, overriding a genjutsu with another genjutsu is one of the best methods. Although this method is rarely used because of the complexity of this method. It is indeed the best method. It took Homosubi only a few seconds to overwrite Jiraiya's genjutsu on Yama, thus the control transferred in the hands of Homosubi. At the same time in the genjutsu place. Jiraiya said to Yama, you will not be able to release this genjutsu, escape is not possible. Yama chuckled, ha ha ha. I am afraid you are extremely wrong here. When it comes to genjutsu, Homosubi of my organization is unmatchable in the entire shinobi world. As Yama spoke, suddenly something started to appear next to Yama in a blur. This was none other than Homosubi. After coming to this genjutsu plane, Homosubi looked around and observed the surroundings, then noticed Yama standing next to him, and apologized, I apologize to have to make you wait, I have overwritten genjutsu, we are ready to leave here. Yama nodded and said, go on with it. What the hell is going on here? Jiraiya as well as the two great toads were shocked. This is the first time they have ever witnessed such a thing happening. Alright folks, see you on the other side. And the very next moment, both Yama and Homosubi's figures started to blur and soon disappeared. 
After disappearing from the Jinjutsu plane, Yama and Homosubi appeared in a red and black world. Looking at his surroundings curiously, Yama muttered, So this is Tsukuimi world huh? Homosubi nodded, then asked, Ah no. Kuroto-san, why did you not use Ryumyaku to free yourself from Jiraiya-sama's Jinjutsu? Kuroto said, Well, it's because having Ryumyaku directly disrupt my chakra is a bit dangerous as the amount of nature energy will concentrate too much in my body, much more than I can handle at this stage, directly having to use Ryumyaku chakra is already a bit taxing, and if I were to allow Ryumyaku to flood my body with its chakra, then there is a high possibility that would have instantly turned into a stone. Also, I don't want to reveal the existence of Ryumyaku to anyone other than the members of Amatsukami, so that's also a reason. Now don't get me wrong, I would have obviously used it if extremely necessary, but I did not feel the need. As he said, in addition to, Shursui, Shinichi, and Itachi, helping him, he could have also used Ryumyaku to release Jiraiya's Jinjutsu. But, as mentioned, Kuroto's body has only started to naturally adapt to natural energy, so there is only a limit of natural energy his body can handle currently. If it were to collect an excess in his body, then that would be the end of it all. Of course, the fact that he has started to adapt to natural energy also means that he is slowly and steadily getting closer to mastering Senjutsu. But it is still ahead. A few seconds before Yama broke free of the Jinjutsu. On the reality plane. The current battlefield inside Amage Kyur has become a complete mess. Unlike the previous confrontation between the leader of Amatsukami and Akatsuki whose battle level has reached the realm of gods, from the perspective of shinobi partaking in this war, the current battlefield had the appearance of what a war between shinobi should be like. Ninja tools like kunai, shuriken, swords, knife, tanto, senban, exploding tags, ninjutsu like katan, suetan, dotan, raitan, futan, raisingan, herjutsu etc., occasional appearance of some kekiai genkai, air pressure because of taijutsu moves, genjutsu because of three menjiku sharingan users, occasional appearances of susanu, papers, crows and whatnot were constantly flying from one person to the another. Konan and Homosubi because of their unique jutsu had the most mobility, but their entire focus was the protection of Nagato and Yama respectively. Might guy, keep this fellow occupied for a while. With a quick dodge from the attack from Tendo Pain, Jiraiya jumped high in the sky using his toad characteristics and, spurted out a large amount of oil on Conan Gamyudin. Toad Oil Bullet The toad oil bullet was extremely fast and in less than a second, it was poured all over Conan's body, soaking her entire body in oil. Conan frowned. Oil is very viscous and sticky, and it prevented her from peeling apart her papers. Having succeeded with the attack, Jiraiya was now ready to kill the two children he had once taught, it was difficult for him, therefore, he said one last sentence, I had hoped that the three of you would make your dreams come true. I never wanted such a day to come where I will be left with no other choice but to eliminate both of you myself. Conan wasn't afraid even if she did not have any escape left, Jiraiya-sensei, you know nothing of what we experienced, someone who hasn't experienced can never understand what we suffered. Jiraiya had no answer, he could say nothing, this is not the first time he has been accused as such, and perhaps she is right. The suffering of oneself can only be understood by them and them alone, even if others try, they will never be able to understand them, and sadly Jiraiya knows this better than anyone. It's time to end this, with this Jiraiya bent down and while stimulating the metabolism of his hairs with his chakra, he said, perhaps you are right after all, but I cannot allow you all to destroy the peace. Senpo, Kibari Senban Sage art, Kibari Senban. Whoosh. 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 All the hair needles pierced Conan's body. Blood spurted, and her body fell. Thump. Plop. And collapsed on the ground. Along with her, all the papers floating in the sky or acting all over the battlefield also started to fall down. The same was the case with Nagato's body also started to fall. Jiraiya went forward to the place where Conan's body fell. He had a sad expression, he did not want to kill his disciples. Hiss. Suddenly the sound of exploding tags burning reached his ears. Kami Bunshin rigged with exploding tags. Quick reflexes immediately alerted Jiraiya and he instantly jumped away. Boom. 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 Jiraiya frowned only to realize that the Conan he had soaked in with his oil was a mere clone. 
At this time, Conan's eyes emerged on the papers that had covered Nagato, with her appearance Nagato's fall also stopped, while still wrapping herself over Nagato she made paper wings and made sure to stay afloat over a much higher height than Jiraiya can ever reach. From beginning to end, she had no intention of fighting Jiraiya. She knows that as long as Nagato is alive everything will be alright, that's why keeping Nagato alive is her objective, at the same time, it is also the meaning of her life so that Nagato can fulfill Yahiko's dream. She has been trying to dispel the Jinjutsu on Nagato, but for some reason, it was proving to be futile, is it because of Sinin Chakra? But if that's the case, then she turned towards Yama, and thought, he shouldn't be able to release Jiraiya Sansei's Jinjutsu either. It was at this very moment when Cyan Chakra flames suddenly gushed out of the opposite side. No 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 no, please no, it couldn't be. Nagato has yet to free himself of Jiraiya Sensei's Jinjutsu, why is he able to free himself? Does that mean he has control over Sage Chakra? Conan was shocked. On another side, after Cyan Chakra flames exploded high into the sky, they condensed together to reveal Yama's body covered in a Tensegan Chakra cloak. The flames of Tensegan Chakra were brighter than ever, and they seemed to contain endless power. As soon as everyone realized that Yama has recovered, everyone on the field back off without exception. Some had a shocked look, some were pale because the chakra pressure emanating from Yama was too massive. So much so that the pieces of rocks and other matter were lightly rising high above contrary to the laws of gravity. The density of chakra in the surroundings was becoming thicker, but there were very few people who were able to sense this increase in density. Why? Because it was natural energy. And very few people can sense natural energy. Because everyone instantly backed off, something akin to a vacuum region was created, and only Homosubi was standing behind Yama. Yama breathed a sigh of relief after noticing that no one was approaching him. The reason is obviously that nature energy in his body has started to exceed more than what he can bear. Even though his Tensegan Chakra cloak seems to be much stronger than it was before because of natural energy it is still damaging Yama's body and the proof is clearly visible from the small petrification that he can fall all over his body. Especially around his arms, which have started to become stone. But Yama was not intended to back off now, this is the best opportunity to eliminate Nagato. Because Nagato has yet to break free of Jiraiya's Genjutsu so he couldn't summon Geto Mazo to protect himself. Only Conan is there. Tendo and Jigakudo are also there, but Nagato is unable to summon Geto Mazo using these two puppets. If this opportunity is missed then this entire raid will become meaningless. So, gritting his teeth, Yama started to condense his chakra into good Adama, truth-seeking orbs. Instantly, four good Adama appeared at Yama's back. As soon as everyone saw those black orbs, Jiraiya's senses tingled. He could feel just how dangerous these black orbs were, although he had no accurate understanding of that jutsu. Toad Fukasaku instantly spoke to Jiraiya, Jiraiya boy, that thing shouldn't even touch you, if it does. Fukasaku need not finish his words because Jiraiya understood very well, but he can also see that Yama's target is not him or any other person, even he can see that the person Yama is targeting is Nagato. Kinrin Tensei Baku Golden Will Reincarnation Explosion At this time, Yama raised his right hand above, and instantly the four good Adama merged together to reveal a golden chakra sword that pierced through the clouds as well as illuminated the entire sky with a golden hue. Tensegan chakra from Yama's body kept flowing from Yama's body into the golden sword, thus illuminating the entire Amage cure and more with a dazzling golden light. Eyes of all those far away subconsciously turned towards that golden light. It was at this moment Nagato also regained consciousness. Yama noticed that Nagato has freed himself from Jiraiya's Genjutsu and he spoke with an indifferent tone, it's time to end this farce. That indifference combined with that godly aura, and the unimaginable power of that sword made those words akin to a god's judgment. Having said that, Yama instantly brought down the sword and slashed through Nagato. Slash. Puff. Blood spurted.